IKEA fridge cabinets. I'm going to show you how I do it. I like to customize the fridge cabinets for an IKEA kitchen. This is how I do it. Uh, not going to really get into how we do the cuts. Like I have, like when we're talking about these gable fridge panels, they're a 36 by 96 panel that you buy, and then you got to cut them to fit. I have a video on how to cut those if your walls are out of plumb or crooked, floors are out of level. So go to that video, it's up in the corner. But what for today's video is A, making it look custom, making it look finished, and giving yourself enough width as well. So here, like most fridges nowadays are bordering on that, around the 36 inch mark. Now, if you just took the 36 inch cabinet and put two gable panels on there, your opening would be exactly 36 and that's too tight for a fridge. So what we do, so where I'm hooking my tape is the actual cabinet. And if I roll over here, that 36, this line is the cabinet. Now what I do is I take a filler panel and I add a little filler piece. That's this one here. It's about five eighths thick. It's either a 24 by 36 inch dishwasher panel or a piece off the 36 by 96 inch panel. And what you'd want to keep in mind for this is it doesn't need to be super deep, but it just needs a finished front edge and a finished bottom edge so it looks good. And then what we did here is we actually added the height for this crown molding piece. This piece you'd either use for under cabinet lighting from Ikea so you can use those on the top as crown or on the underside. And so we installed that there just to kind of border it and hide any of the fasteners from the underside of this box. So it looks good, it frames it out. So now from inside of fridge gable to inside of fridge gable, which is this line right here, is 37 and 3 eighths. So now I've created extra space for the fridge, it needs the ventilation, but everything's screwed tight and solid so I don't have to figure out how to give it strength. And I think that pretty much covers it. It's just really simple. I think it looks excellent. It's a way to, like I don't even see, uh, well some custom guys don't even do that good of a job. You don't necessarily need to use this crown molding piece. Sorry that I don't have the proper term. You can use another piece of panel and then you would just raise the sides up, make it flush at the bottom and run just a panel there too. So anyway, just a few tidbits, make it look super pro so that way when people show up at your house, they don't know it's an Ikea kitchen. It looks super fancy, but it wasn't expensive at all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Cody with Up to Code.